Well, here it is, the brand new studio. It is nowhere near finished and the sound is a bit echoey, but it will do for now. Here on this channel, we've looked at many different versions of Earth. Flat Earth, obviously, uh, convex Earth, hollow Earth, and even expanding Earth. But today, we're gonna to take a look at a channel from a man who genuinely believes that the Earth exists inside a giant crater. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Yes, you heard that right. God Give Lampst is a YouTuber who believes that the Earth exists in a giant crater. He's developed his theory so much that he now has an official map. This is going to be good. Okay, people, uh, follow the guide and let's dive into our crater. In front of us, we see the Himalaya. Let's follow this mountain ridge and that brings us to Africa. In the middle there, you see the Mediterranean Sea and Europe. Move to the right and yes, Greenland is a continent, people. Let's zoom out to the Americas, lying at the wrong place, as you see. As you can see, his water doesn't appear to be level does it? On the right there you see a hidden sea, but more about that later. Let's move on people, follow the guide, zoom in on Australia, and finally some land masses like Indonesia, Thailand, Cambodia and India. So this is the end of our tour and may I present you the final crater earth map. Incredible. Completely wrong, of course, but all the same, incredible. And finally, let's have an overview and put in the continents. Don't forget the guide, please. Whoa, Antarctica is, well, it's big. And here it is, the official new world map. Let's take a look now at the hidden sea. Let's zoom in. You clearly see two passages there. That brings you out of our crater. And when you go to the right into Antarctica, that brings you to Mount Miro, from where you have a beautiful view on our continents. Wow, just wow. So the few years I have been making videos now, people have been sending me messages to look into the convex earth. Well, they were right. We also have a clue of Walt Hitler, showing us the hidden sea and also the passage to it. Really? Looks like he's just showing us Disneyland to me. So someone asked me, hey, what about your escape from flat earth theory? What happened to it? Escape from flat earth theory. Now it all makes sense. Must check that one out. Well, let me show you what I think they did. For this example, I will paint two mountains in white. So now let's zoom in into the first one. The closest one to South America. This one has been presented to us as being a part of Antarctica, but let's zoom out. There you see the real peak of Antarctica. Take a look at the Google Maps view. So they just took the silhouette of the Antarctica peak and they swamped places. What? 
Seriously, what are you doing? Now, if by any chance an admiral on a battleship would be listening to this video, and that would be one chance in a trillion. Can't do maths either, it seems. I'd say it's a zero chance. Jokes. There's over three billion people that watch YouTube. Odds are that at least a few of those are battleship admirals, as you say. I would advise him, take your battleship and follow the yellow brick road. That would bring you to the gateway out of our crater. But be careful, be aware, you will meet some heavy artillery fire. Yeah, of course, the penguins. Hi, Hans. Make a penguin, 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 make a penguin. By doing this, you would be of great service to humanity. You would show the world the bigger earth and free us from our crater prison. Back to reality. Let's go back to the subject of the movement of the sun. This should be good. Some people reacted in the comment that I made a mistake. They were right. Because the sun was rising in the west. I guess I was thinking from left to right. And I forgot that Japan is the land of the rising sun, of course. Some people were suggesting I should use the analemma. And then I would only need one sun. But as you see in the example, there are holes in the time frame. You don't say. For the moment, I'm going to keep on working with the two systems. We'll see how this evolves. Oh, I see. So there's two suns. Gotcha. Let's make an animation with the new map. And here you see when one system is fading out, the other system is moving in. Let's zoom in on the first system. Moving over the Americas, going down, and there you see the sun is moving across the hidden sea. But you've still got the sun rising in the west for the Americas. Doesn't work, buddy. That is probably the reason it is not frozen. And back to its starting point. Let's zoom in on the second sun, that might be more interesting. First, take a freeze frame. I think this is the international date line. From there the sun is moving to the left. Let's slow it down a bit. So at the position where you would have the Greenwich Meridian line, the sun is moving towards Antarctica. But why though? What causes that? What drives it? I think the international date line is actually the silhouette of our crater. Now you have a counter rotating system. What is this now? Here with four suns, two suns, but now I have a new problem because the sun is rising in the west, in the Americas. Ah, oh, he spotted it. Well done. A solution might be you have two compasses, one normal and one inverted. That might be very useful when you are falsifying flight routes. Ah, the old inverted compass. Of course, why didn't I see that? 
So now I might be debunking my own theory of north lines and south lines. But that's okay, because I'm making these videos to find the truth and not for being right. Luckily, I've got both. Let's return to our supercomputer, Ra. Oh no, I can't carry on with this. It's got too much. Whew, well, what a tinfoil Tuesday that was. Seriously, inside a giant crater. I absolutely have no problem at all with people trying to find out about the world. The trouble is, all that information is already there for you. There is no need to make anything up. Right, well, there we go. Another Tinfoil Tuesday done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, then please, please do like and subscribe. It'd be thoroughly appreciated. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day. And I'll see you all on Friday for Flat Earth Fail Compilation 16. See you then.